<laughs> you shot me in the throat! <laughs> Good morning. Hope you guys are doing great. Today is gonna be a fun day because we're doing so many things. My first ever podcast, and we talk about energy and inspiration. And so just for fun, just to, just to test it out. And I have a very inspirational guy coming in. And then we're doing TMZ Live. TMZ, it's a, it's a major website, it's a major media in the US. It's a big thing. They actually had us on their show for the Alligator Bite Roulette and also for this scorpion in my mouth challenge. Uh, they reached out and asked if we want to be on their live broadcast show. It's on Fox in the US, so we're doing something fun for them. We're doing the pressure cannon roulette. And we're putting in three of the worst things you can get shot with. Cacti, thumbtacks, or Legos. I'm gonna play the game, so I guess I'm getting screwed. Right, Paul? Yeah, you really can't win here. They're actually ready to do a, a quick kind of walkthrough rehearsal. Can you go and ask what is a rehearsal? I'll look it up. I was looking up the definition, but it's like... It's is there anything on Google about it? How may I help you? What is a rehearsal? We rehearse on camera. We don't practice. Okay. Check this out. I learned a new, a new trick, by the way. I know how to balance this. <laughs> We've been getting a lot of mail, so it's time to dig in. All right, mail boys, take it away. Thanks, Yuka. I'm Yarpy. And I'm Paul. And we're the Mail Boys. Oh, let's see what we got here. This is uh, from Montgomery, Indianapolis. Oh, did I say it right? Indianapolis? Indianapolis? Yeah, you said it right. All right, I got it. So Montgomery's the person's name. That's a cool name. Yeah, it is. Okay, and it says, Paul, you take <laughs> over. Nice, a handwritten <laughs> letter, this is great. Moy, I'm Luke, 14, from Indianapolis, Indiana. I love your videos. Yuka, you have taught me to be who I am and not to be afraid to be crazy. Over the next summer, I want to learn how to skateboard, do parkour, and backflip on flat ground. Peace, love, and happiness. Wow, thanks, Luke. That's pretty cool that you have that list of things that you want to accomplish. Yeah. And if you want to learn Finnish, well, thank you is a good word, so it's kiitos. 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 Thanks, Luke. Moi. We should get tattooed. Oh, we should. Come what do you guys think? Should we get male boys tattoos? That would be pretty I neat. I think they said yes. <laughs> this letter uh, came from Cayuga, Indiana. Yuka would be proud that he has an own place in Indiana. Yeah. Hello, Dudeson slash Yuka. My name is Hales. Hey, cool, what a cool name. Yeah, never heard of that. I have been a big fan of the Dutons for the longest time. I'm sending this letter to express that you guys always keep me going. I'm a thrill seeker and also a weightlifter. I've gone from 109 pounds to 130 pounds <coughs> in one year's time. I love staying fit, healthy, and happy. I've also been inspired to learn Finnish. It's a beautiful language and I'm getting better with my greeting. So I'm thankful for all you guys and the amazing things you have done. I hope one day I can meet you. It would be a dream come true. How do you say that? Paljon rakkautta. That's great. Paljon rakkautta. Much love. Much love. This should be interesting. This came from uh, Warren, New Jersey. New Jersey. NJ for New Jersey. New Jersey. So all the way from the other side of... It's right there. It's actually back there somewhere. Hello, it's Christina again, the one who sent you guys the wasabi candy. Oh, I remember you, Christina. I am a vet tech, AKA animal nurse. What I sent you this time is something we put on animal IV catheters to prevent them from licking or biting them. Me and my coworkers made the poor choice of trying it ourselves and I have never had anything so nasty in my life. So naturally, I had to send <laughs> some for you all to try. You only need to try a little bit to experience this bitter monstrosity have fun. I guess this is it. Anti-lick barrier. I've seen dogs eat poop, but they won't lick that. All right, so that tells a lot. Let's try it. <laughs> Let's try it. Only a small portion. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, oh. It, oh. it really is bad. Oh my God. <laughs> 
Oh, wow! Uh, 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 we should get the guys to try this. Hold yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, Hold yeah. on. Yeah, we we need a second opinion. Yeah, yeah. Does it smell? It doesn't smell like anything. It doesn't smell. That's why we we're like. It doesn't smell bad at all. So yeah, yeah, give it. A, oh, give it a good look. At the count, three. One, two, three. Mail boys. <laughs> oh. He was like. Oh, why does that do that? I don't know. <laughs> I wonder. <laughs> it's so bad. It's bad. I don't know, like what's in it. And, oh. and the taste of it stays oh. in your mouth for a long time. Yeah. It's not going anywhere. It tastes like a battery, bro. <laughs> Ingredients. <laughs> Denatonium and sucrose octa-acetate. Oct Alright, now that we got our Thanks, guys. third and fourth opinion that, yeah, it is bad. Yeah. It's really bad. It looks delicious. We'll just give it back to you yeah. guys. Yeah. <laughs> ah. Thank you. Thank well, you. Thanks, guys. Metal Boys, out. Check out how uh, the TMC stuff is done. We're gonna rehearse it a little bit because they gotta know in the studio what we're doing and what they're reacting to. What's up, man? How you doing, man? Pleasure having you. Feel it. Rock and roll, man. What's happening? What's well, happening? How do you do it? <laughs> What's up? Yeah, let's get this shit. Are you the one shooting me? I am. Why and would I'm you very do excited. that? You shot me with gummy bears yesterday and it hurt. And we got the jungle boy in the house. What up? Oh yeah? Yeah. I'm aiming for the belly. Oh shit. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, that's tight. Ah. That's tight. <laughs> Make it less tight. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright now, what's up? What up, what up? One, two, one, two. Kiss, a kiss, a kiss. A. Look at Al smiling. I'm just hoping Paul gets hurt somehow. Here, right, here we go. We're gonna do a rehearsal and uh, then go live on TMZ. So we got a uh, we got a pressure cannon. Paul, are you uh, you're shuffling the deck and you're uh, you're you're the shooter? Yeah, I get to do all the uh, boring stuff. Combo. My mom says the same thing. So just a little bit more. Oh, he's asking not to see the B. Well, what is the B? This B. Right here. <laughs> <laughs> he's right. Look at this. I got this. I got a solution. Small on track two. Mixing the bucket is... I'm going to take my pants off. Corey has a shotgun on now. track two of his. I, I got a solution for your uh, V problem. You don't want to All right, cool. All right, man. Good. Pleasure. Bye. Yeah. That's the fun, that they don't know. I'm not going here, I'm not, not watching, so I don't know. It's going to be a surprise. You look like a gypsy. I look like a, I am a gypsy from Finland. He's a gross person, man. <laughs> yeah, this is our friend, the pressure cannon. Well, he, he, ah, he has a habit of flipping the script, so I just wanted to make sure that's established. You know what? Why don't we just put all of it in, since we're playing this game with you guys? Oh, man, that. Look at that. <laughs> yeah. And the Legos go in. <laughs> oh man, so there's no protection from the those there's no protection from the cactus. Hi, let's do this! Three, right, you guys do the countdown. Two, this is for Finland! One, go! Throat. Thank you guys for having us on and we love it. Push yourself. Push your boundaries. Do something a little crazy every once in a while. You guys are clear. Okay. Woohoo! Oh, that was a pleasure. Yeah, thanks guys. Thank you. I don't wish. Hey uh, Paul, will you bring in the duct tape and get some of these spikes off, please? This is exciting and this is big for me. I believe in energy in life. You have to surround yourself with people that have good energy that you give energy to but you also get it back from they say there's few meaningful people in your life that you'll meet and about two weeks ago my agent put me in touch with mike richards 
who's a big time producer and he hosts a show in the US. I went in to meet with him because our agent thought that we'd get along. I sat down, we talked, and, and he's got energy, he's looking for inspiration, he's looking to inspire, he's got the same sort of inner core that I have, but he's a rule follower, where I'm a rule breaker, and uh, he threw out an idea that we should start a podcast, so that's what we're doing today. So we both agreed on bringing in one guest, and then just go with the flow, and I'll keep you posted where we're actually gonna start doing this podcast. We got Yannick Corey what in up? the house. Yeah, what up, what up? My dear friend from the early 2000. And uh, we got the rule follower. Yeah. I'm here. We got, we got Mike in the house. <laughs> and we got Mike's friend. Dan. We got Funk. Sometimes I follow the rules. Funk. Funk. Deutsch. Ah, Deutsch. Jawohl. And I'm excited about this and I hope we can use this to inspire you guys to talk about life and real things that matter. Sisu. So Yannick Corey, he, he was an amazing athlete growing up, a great friend, good heart. Uh, he still holds the record of most sacks in Georgetown University. But in 2006, after a beach volley game, he, uh, he ran into the ocean, dove in from the beach, and uh, he hit his head on a sand bunk and, uh, and got paralyzed and fought for his life over two months in ICU and uh, he inspires me in his perspective in life, how you get to choose, are you gonna live a happy or a sad life? That's why he's here, uh, he's here at the podcast. And Dan Funk, he's done 40, 50, 60 big primetime shows uh, for the biggest networks in America, which means he's fired a lot of people, he's hired a lot of people, but everybody loves him, everybody likes him. Even when he fires somebody, they still like him. So I wanna learn and hear how he treats people and how he, what's his take on human connection. What do you think about the, the podcast? I like the podcast, it was cool. Like I, I don't know, I didn't know anything about anyone in there except for you. Everyone was cool, everyone brought their own thing to the table and I was just sitting there listening, you know, like it was, it was cool. What did you get inspired about? Like what's the thing that you're gonna walk out of that podcast holding on to? Um, I mean, it had to be like Yane's kind of whole story, but just his outlook as well. Like, someone's always got it worse, and you can always still have a good attitude about your situation. I'm looking for inspiration in life, and that's what keeps me moving. If it's doing things on my own, getting inspired, or inspiring other people, or finding inspiration from somewhere. I want to hear what's the best advice that you've ever been given to, and who gave it to you? Hashtag I'm a dudeson. Uh, please write it down in the comments uh, and share that uh, advice with me and with us and with the rest of the dudes in the world. All right, peace, love, and happiness. And see you guys tomorrow. Woo!